few weeks ago, I was at a conference in Russia. And like all Russian conferences, there was a banquet. And at the banquet, they produced some special bottles of vodka, so-called Tsar's vodka, Tsarskaya vodka. I didn't think this was anything special, but the chemists were giggling. And then they explained to me that Tsarska vodka is what Russians call the mixture of HCl and nitric acid that we call aqua regia, the mixture that dissolves gold. So I got really excited and wanted a bottle of this vodka. But being Russia, all the bottles were empty. So I got an empty bottle, which I brought back home. Well, it wasn't quite empty. There was a small amount of vodka in the bottom. And once I got it home, I thought it would be really fun to make some aqua regia in the bottle of Tsarske vodka. And of course, who should make the aqua regia? The answer was obvious, Neil, our technician. So I gave him the bottle, and possibly he tested the little bit of vodka that was left. Test tested it. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's now done the experiment. Of course, we have already shown you gold dissolving in aqua regia. I wanted to see it in the vodka bottle. The key technical question is how do you hang a piece of gold into a bottle without whatever it's suspended on dissolving the aqua regia as well? Now, it should be quite obvious to you that aqua regia doesn't dissolve glass because otherwise the bottle would go away. So Neil had the very bright idea that we would hang the gold from a very thin fibre of glass and then everything should be OK. So let's see what's happened. So aqua regia is quite a complicated mixture in which the nitrogen part of the nitric acid in fact becomes positively charged with chloride ions from the hydrochloric acid being the negative part, so you have a pair of ions. Of course, nitric acid is HNO3, so it contains both nitrogen and oxygen, so the cation, the positively charged ion, contains both nitrogen and oxygen. And in the solution, this nitrogen ion oxidizes the gold and removes electrons from the gold and it reacts with the chloride and it dissolves. And people for hundreds of years have been really amazed that you can dissolve gold. And I'm still amazed because it just seems something that shouldn't happen. The other thing is that as the aqua regia reacts, the whole colour of the solution goes darker as well. Part of this is due to the gold dissolving. As you can see, we don't have very much gold because although we work in a high-class university, we still can't throw away large lumps of gold. And so much of the colour actually comes from the nitrogen species in the solution. And like many other mixtures, it takes time to mature. If we had been doing the experiment really properly, we would have left the aqua regia sitting in the bottle for some hours just to see how the colour changed. 
Then we would have emptied it out, washed everything, made a new mixture, and done it with the gold to see if there was any difference. But although Neil is a wonderful technician, his patience has definite limits. I think it's a nice demonstration of aqua regia, and you've learned a little Russian. Now when you see aqua regia, you can say Tsarskaya vodka. So I shall wash the bottle out, or I shall ask Neil to wash it out, and then it will join the other vodka bottles in the display in my office so that people can see the historic experiments that have been done for periodic videos. So you should watch our other vodka videos too.